Here. We've just got a skip recently, we get them every year, our council providing for allotment holders every year. But one skip at the bottom here and one skip at the top allotment uh, is not enough really to provide for all the rubbish that comes off these allotments, um, given the fact that there's 100, 100 and odd allotment holders up here now. Um, and each and every year it's the same story. I can go to both skips and I can end up pulling usable and recyclable materials out that I'm using all the time in the project, um, but also what other people can use, other allotment holders. Already I've just pulled a drum out of there, now it was only two days ago that one of the allotment holders approached me and he said, have you got an oil drum so I can perforate it to make a compost? Container. Some people, of course, use the same steel oil drums, 45 gallon drums, for fires, you know, for uh, burning the brasserie. And there we have a good oil drum in, in good condition or reason, reasonable condition. I've been a man that's been using stone over the years to build a wall in and repair the wall in, in this area. And already I've salvaged some good stone from this skip. There's a little bit more to come yet, but there's also some red bricks. Well, to an allotment holder, reasonable red bricks are, are a one-to-one -one for many things, for path making, for walling, for greenhouse work, for all sorts of stuff. And when you get complete red bricks that are, are either clean or, or cleaner built, like these, then they're well worth keeping. Again, not only for me, I'll keep these, but if some allotment holder comes along, yeah, I've got a few red bricks, I'll just give it a load away last week actually, so I'll take these and I'll put them in the van. Now I also, I also have a friend that has a wood burner. And there's a sizeable amount of wood in here already that I'll salvage. So by the time I finish plundering this skip of wood, stone, steel, scrap, red bricks, and maybe one or two other things, in fact, there's bird feed in here. I won't, I won't bother taking this bird feeder because up at Wildside the squirrels, it's a plastic one, but it's a complete one. You know, there's nothing wrong with it. So I'll leave that ink skipping up, somebody else takes it. In the meantime, I'll carry on plundering the wood for the wood burner. And see if there's anything else that uh, is possible to salvage. Have a little bit of scrap here, I know it's only a small amount, but it all adds up. There's quite a lot of red bricks at this end, so I'll uh, plunder some more red bricks later on. But the overall benefit of me coming and pulling this rubbish out of the skips is it takes the skip rubbish down a little bit, allowing more room for the allotment holders who haven't been here and and use the skip yet to put their rubbish in. And um, it's weekend now, holiday weekend, and only today, Saturday and Sunday, probably will some of the allotment holders come up and see the skip and be able to use it. But it was nearly full already, as we can see. <coughs> so, I've been recycling all my life. From child I was recycling, I was taught to recycle by my parents. I was taught not to waste. 
I was taught by my teachers at school not to waste. I've always been a believer in recycling and I don't, damn it, if I'm a millionaire or not, if I pass a skip or I see some rubbish somewhere or some disposables that somebody can use, then I won't pass it by because I don't believe in waste. And in these skips nowadays, not only up here on allotments, but all over the place, there's always a lot of material thrown away. We see it every day, everybody sees it every day. And I'm fed up to the teeth, to be honest, of seeing all this sort of waste. But worse than that, when a councilwoman comes along and tells me that I can't no more recycling on the site where I am, I can't even answer that, but there's no way I'm going to stop it. To a camera on record, but I stand by that. Well, that's a nice acquisition. I've just bumped into Joseph here, one of the allotment owners. He's seen us pulling uh, wood out at Skip, and he's decided to bring us some wood contained in his barrow. So I thank you very much, Giuseppe. It's very good of you, and. Uh, That'll yeah. be used for fire, isn't it? Oh yeah, just to keep it warm or something. Yeah, keep it warm, yeah, yeah. And, uh, more room. More room in the Maybe strip. Maybe too like this one. Make put inside, breaking off. Make yeah. put inside. You want to take off. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, no problems, yeah. I'll just take these pieces off, mate. Put them round here for now. Yeah. They go bad quick, you know, last year, so put a like a drink, just put some strawberries, you know. It's a brick, you know. Yeah, whatever, yeah. <laughs> oh, soft wood know. these days, Joe, isn't it? You know, soft, yeah, soft wood. Yeah, yeah. The good old oak forest now being... Yeah, you're just going to... ...being depleted, so... It's all soft wood these days, it doesn't last too long, does it? Oh, no, it's just wood, maybe 100 years or on. One of the men that they kill me, you know, they brand new, this one, you know, not being used, you know. Yeah. Yeah. They're not the scaffolding, they're different. The same with the house, you know. Yeah. Not different, you know. Just, you know. Oh, this is... This is all this wood will be put to good use. Yeah. <coughs> and the volume in room. Oh, yeah, the skip yeah, that it had taken up. Yeah, taken away now. Good there. Very good. Very good. Yeah, got a good Joseph, thank you very, very much. All right, you say thank you and deal. <laughs> there you are, two-way ticket. Yeah, yeah. Good example, you see, a two-way ticket of, you know, <clears throat> community cohesion with our fellow allotment holders. Joe's thanking me, I'm thanking Joseph, and this is partly what allotment allotment sharing is about. This is what it brings together, you know, that's, that sort of unity between people and that connection with how you can help uh, each other. Well, it's me. Well, see them... Uh, Take a set, I like the car actually, for use. Yeah. Uh, you do things like? Yeah. Yeah, in that one, and brand new, no? Oh, it's not mine, no. No, that's, um. Oh, you mean? Allotment association. Oh, yeah, it's, uh, yeah, it's, it's not my shed in that. Oh, no? It's called... It's too good enough. It's too good for me. <laughs> too good for no, me, No, I'm the person maybe last week, you know. In the same yeah. system, I don't know. Ah, from, uh, Irene, maybe going inside. That's right, Irene, yeah. Yes, it is. Allotment Association. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So you alright then, Joe? Maybe say I'm going to some more. I'll put you in there now. Yeah, I'll, I'll pick it up later on. Yeah. I'll have Van and Chris in there. Alright, Joe. Yeah. Having a look at this latest plunder, what I had out of the skip last night. It's only the other day, one of the allotment holders mentioned to me, do I have any of these little seed trays for starting buds off in, seed buds. And lo and behold, bingo, find these two in skip, last night, same skip that we just come from. Along with a little bit more scrap and that as well, towards the scrap collection, that helps to put a bit of fuel in the van and provide a little bit of money for the bird feed on the site here at Wildsides because it is all voluntary remember I'm not a rich man and I don't, um, I don't have any inheritances 
And at the end of the, the un, end of the day, when I leave this land as well, I'll be leaving it empty-handed. It doesn't belong to me, doesn't this land? It's it's not my land, so I've got to rely on any means I can to raise money or help support the cause. You know, and this is one of the things that does it. Of course, these things here are not for sale. All these will be passed on and given to other allotment holders. Like Ray, the guy that asked us the other day about these. They'll be coming up today, so I'll be able to present him with these free of charge. Pointless me passing a skip and leaving them by and just thinking about myself. You know, you've got to think about everybody. We're all a unit. We're a unity. We're united. We're part of a whole. And as a whole, we can only work, you know, work properly and function properly if we work together. This is something that uh, Wild, Wild Side has been successful with over the years. And can you, well, continues to be so, hopefully. Right, enough said. Get a cup of on, eh? Time for a cup of tea. Yep, indeed. And there we have Ray here, a friend in allotment holder from further down. And only yeah. the other day mentioned to me, you know, have you got any of these little seed bug trays? Well, I didn't have, of course, at that time. Till this yeah. morning, you know, till we got these out of skip. So, yeah. there we are, Ray. One pair of salvaged seed bug trays. Oh, right. Thank Already you very much. Uh, they're great, I think. Yeah, this is just what I've been looking for. So it's a bit of a bonus today because Ray came up here originally on another mission. And what was that, Ray? So uh, I wanted some uh, leaf mould. Carl had made some leaf mould, like, you know, like old shells and stuff. And uh, I wanted it for my seeds, like, you know, to prick my seeds out into, you know. So it's experimenting to see how, see how they'll do, like, you know what I mean? All compass that was, sort of, you know, yeah. salvaged from site, all the... The leaf mould that's swept up on the site here, it's another yield, uh, another bonus that we receive from the, the tree work on here. Each year these paths of course get covered in leaves, shortly to be cleaned up. Yeah. And um, I store the leaf mould and add other compost and other bits and bats and uh, I make a good rich compost out of that. Anyway, Ray came the other day and he said, have you got any compost? I said, yes, I have got some compost. I always will have some compost with the amount of debris that we have on here, here at Wildside, so yeah. there we have it. But yeah. you came to collect something else, didn't you, this morning? That you're just about on with now, your, your recent project. Oh, my door. Your door. Oh, yeah. Or, or should I say your gate? The gate, oh, yes. Come for, for some timber, yeah. Which Carl is nicely helping me out with. Uh, we we'll make a new gate. See what we have here now. The story with this uh, material here is that this was a double bed at a friend of mine's house. This was the understructure or the under cross members of the double bed. And I thought, well, they're too good to burn as firewood. You'll see them in a minute when I get them out. Yeah. We'll make a nice gate That's out of them. I remember Ray saying that he wanted to make a gate, so I held yeah. on to these good timbers in good condition, new condition, as you yeah, can see. Yeah. Just a little bit of processing here and there, and yeah. this man will have enough good timbers. There's about 12 of these, so he'll have enough good timbers out of these to make a gate. Yeah. Off that of recycling again. And I'm, I'm going to fetch my old gate up for you. That's right. Yeah. That'll be coming up here then as firewood. That's won't right, it? yeah. Yeah. Which greatly helps me up here. Yeah. It certainly will. I'll be I'll be taking it off like and taking hinges off and then just transferring them onto this when I've made it. Now if you would have been on that T V program years ago with Eamon and Andrews, ah, yeah. you remember what he'd have been shouting? No, oh, going back a bit farther. Cracker Jack! Oh, loading yeah. this man up, they also load it up with cabbages <laughs> oh, and all sorts, that. you know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. In this case, today I'll be able to load you up with some much needed material to make you gate. Yeah, lovely job. It's a nice day, uh, nice day for it and all. Right, it's getting there. It's lovely, isn't it? No bloody gardens up though, they won't have it, will they? Will they, Carl? So they well, won't it's have a it. classic case, this is why it's ironic when the council bleat on about getting allotments manned. Yeah. 
No, they won't have, have it. They won't have it, no. And unfortunately, it has always been the same and always will be on allotment systems. There'll always be people coming, showing willing, and mentally, they'll have all sorts of plans and ideas in mind. But we are living today in a push-button society. So, physically, it's a bit different from what it is mentally, I'm afraid. And so, as a consequence, most allotment holders do not come and put the time in physically, which they do mentally. They think about it enough, yeah. but they don't do enough. And that's a problem. And that problem has always been there and it always will be there. It is the way human beings work. Things are always more difficult um, in action than what they are in theory, I suppose. Yeah. And allotment, allotments are a, definitely a testimony to that. It's a bit like um, yeah. part-time love, if you, if you like. Yeah. It's, it's like that with allotments, you know. It, yeah. They'll, you'll get middle of summer where you get these hot days or a hot week and yeah. you'll have an eye of activity and see people you've never seen before yeah. for that week. Yeah. And then other times, the rest of the year, you may not see the people, you know, so... It's an ongoing thing, and I mean, it is a difficult thing for council, no, and to, to lap, keep allotments manned. Complaining but. about you, you know, with your gardens, there's no bugger up. You know what I mean? And you've been doing it for years. Well, this, my friend, I'm afraid, is... Sad. You know, you've got, this, you've got this going, what nobody wanted. Well, you know, I've had difficulty getting people on these allotments that are recoverable at the back area of this site. I've had difficulty over yeah. the years. Yeah. Try to get people to man them allotments yeah. that are recoverable. That's right. You know, at the back of these sites here. Yeah. So it's quite obvious that if you cannot get people to man yeah. open, uh, already cultivated or open ground allotments where there is no tree cover or no debris spread over or contaminating the sites, then there's no way, no way whatsoever that you're going to get anybody to man an area that's heavily tree club no you know well before i uh before i got this garden here i got offered one up top there and it would i wouldn't take it because of all trees so i'm not taking it you know what i mean mm -hmm. so then i got that one which is fair enough i mean yeah. an allotment older coming along obviously wants a, an area that they can't all the trees. Hell. years ago they would have done you know but yeah in in this modern system we're in now unfortunately there are you know we are in a push button society and I can't help feeling that, for one reason, a lot of people today are too used to mechanisation. You know, I mean, it's, it's like going home and turning a gas fire on. In the earlier days of my life and your life, really, yeah. you'd, have, you'd have been uh, going home and preparing paper, sawing, chopping, chopping and sawing the firewood. You know, we used to put all sorts of fire, didn't that, we? <laughs> that was a daily ritual, you know. A <laughs> few chimneys got set of fire, didn't they? Most you people know, wouldn't do that today. They wouldn't be able to conceive doing that, you know. And, well, you know, the, it, 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 it's so... What, how can I put it? It's so instant now, is um, is the system, isn't it? You know, with electricity. Yeah. You know, we're, we're divided from ground-to-earth contact by technology now, aren't we? You know, everything's mm. sort of at a... At, uh, at your disposal there uh, by just arranging, you know, pressing a few buttons or arranging a, an electronic system or a, a mechanical system and it's done, you know, so the, um, it does water down the chances of getting old school types on, on allotments to man them physically and, and do the work. Yeah. Um, a lot of allotment holders that has come up here over the years uh, mm. on percentage the most questions have asked me personally when I've been talking to them about these allotments is, is there a greenhouse or is there a shed on? Or what we're looking for is an allotment that's already done, you know, with a shed or a greenhouse. Well, that's a tall order. When we were kids, we had to take our scene, you know, regardless, mm -hmm. and we had to work it and yeah. put the time and effort in, you that's know, it. whereas now, you know, that's not yeah. possible. Today, everybody wants it already made, you know. Yeah. And there has been good input up here, and there has been... People have taken over allotments that have been pretty derelicted and you know required a lot of input and a lot of hard work. Yeah. But they're on on a percentage, a small percentage. Most people want it all uh, all ready now. Yeah. So 
It's always going to be difficult to get people to fully man in this day and age um, allotments. Now, that's on that that particular theme, <coughs> on the touch button sort of syndrome. There is the other side now as well, is that we're in a faster moving society now and people just don't have as much time as they had uh, in years gone by. You know, there's a lot more complications now in people's lives generally and a lot more commitments in one way or other. So that's another factor as well also that um, yeah. prevents people from putting that, that time in, it's time itself.